Hello, Islanders, students, and parents. Today, I want to share some information with you to help you as you adapt to this new learning environment during the COVID-19 stay-at-home mandate. First of all, I'd like to talk to you about attendance, better known as student engagement. Engaging in this new virtual learning environment is more critical than ever to our students' learning. It is very important to every student to attend the learning sessions being provided by their teachers. So you are now using a rating system to determine your attendance and level of engagement with your learning. Your teachers will, re will record in Skyward your engagement once a week on Fridays. It is based on a three-point scale. A three means you are showing up to the virtual classes, you're engaging with your teacher, you're logging into Schoology, and you're completing all your learning tasks. A two means that your teacher needs to remind you to engage to in your learning and to get into Schoology and to attend the Zoom meetings and to, to the open hours and determine assignments. A one means you are not logging into Schoology, you are not participating in your virtual learning opportunities, you're not submitting your schoolwork, and you're not contacting your teacher for help. More details will be shared by your teachers. Please contact your teacher if you have any questions about your attendance or your level of engagement in classes. Next, I'd like to talk about grading. It's a question that many of you have been wondering about for a while. Recently, the Office of Superintendent of Public Instruction provided the necessary direction to school districts regarding second semester grading. The purpose of this specific direction is to do no harm to students' grades during this COVID-19 pandemic time. Our school will adhere to an A slash incomplete grading practice for second semester. So what are the expectations for you Students must engage in the learning process and demonstrate the necessary skills and working knowledge in our classes in order to pass and show proficiency based on new course expectations in this remote learning environment. To receive a grade of A, a student must earn 60% or higher in their graded schoolwork at the end of second semester. By earning a 60% or higher, an A will be on your transcript and it will be factored into your overall GPA. Students who do not engage in the learning process and do not meet standards of their currently enrolled courses will receive an incomplete. This grade of incomplete may be converted to an A. Students with incomplete grades will have the opportunity to pass the class by the end of first semester of the next school year 2020-21. Students, please see your teacher if you have more questions about grading expectations in your classes. Next, I'd like to talk about seniors and graduation. Seniors, first of all, I want you to know I am very sad you have not had the opportunity this semester to experience the senior traditions and celebrations that you deserve before you leave us in June. However, we plan to have a graduation celebration. It is necessary to make sure to give your best honest effort in order to pass your classes. Seniors, your last day of school will be June 9th. Also, I wanna remind you that next Friday, May 1st, you will be able to pick up your graduation gowns. More information is coming to you about those details. Ms. Foster, one of our associate principals, is chairing a committee made up of students, teachers, parents, and administrators to determine how we will celebrate your graduation from MIHS. You can expect to provide your student voice to this committee in the upcoming days. Also, we'd like to talk lastly about online behavioral expectations for all of our students. We remind you that our online behavioral expectations are the same as if we were in our school building. Engage fully with your teachers and classmates while on your Zoom classes and open hours. Use appropriate language. Sign into your meetings with your full name, your first and your last name, and make eye contact during the video conferencing. Wear appropriate clothing and be mindful of distractions and your home learning environment. Your digital footprint is permanent, so be thoughtful and respectful in your interactions with others. And remember our school model, innovation, 
inspiration, integrity. This really matters. In summary, I hope this information is helpful as you move forward. Feel free to reach out to your teachers, your counselors, or your admins if you have any questions. Thank you for your time. Thank you.